You're looking at 2,000 years worth of plus <coughs> of boats. And oddly enough, though, the very trendy and locked there, they changed the Bermuda rig in the 1920s, so it was the first time a jackyard topsail had been seen on Loch Derg since pre-1914. So that was quite a performance. And um, where else have they been? Have we any more pictures, huh? Oh, yeah. 2003, they all went to the Grand Old Classics. And there you see some typical balmy West Cork weather. <laughs> that day, that day they were, they'd come round to, um, they'd come round to Castle Haven, and we heard in the radio the weather was so bad, and the fog was so thick, that all racing outside the harbour had been cancelled back at Glandor. But there's sudden radio silence by the whole 17s. They not only raced back to Glandor, they raced outside High Island, and they raced absolutely flat out. And the winner was where we could get into where we could get into Casey's pub first and down a pint. <laughs> Is he here? I can't remember who won that. It's all Donald Massey. Well anyway, that was two thousand and three. I mean it wasn't it wasn't so much the Glandor Classics hosting the whole seventeens as the Glandor Classics trying to hang on the tailcoats because there were fifteen whole seventeens got down to Glandor. An incredible achievement. Anyway, there's the aura on the Del Guinness. And since then, the Del Guinness has had a bit of the TLC treatment. Yeah. It's, it's far from teak laid decks, the whole 17 to rear, <laughs> But I, I have to tell you, I think it looks lovely. I'm afraid. It was done by Rui Ferreira down in Valley de Hall. And she still looks gorgeous. And, um, also on that jaunt anyway, of course we did visit Leela at the Fastnet, which was quite something. Somebody to tour her out there and tour her back again. Apart <laughs> 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 from that, it was heroic. <laughs> in fact, the furthest any 17 is sailed, as far as I know, is to Dingle. And, um, this boat, sorry, before we get to Dingle, there was a moment of national fame came, I think it was 1982, when they did maritime stamps, and the whole 17s, and Paddy Barris and Patrick and the Asgard too, gathered in Dublin to celebrate the launching of these stamps. So when you look at the picture on the left, it makes sad viewing. The Asgard too is gone, the St. Patrick is gone, Three of those 17s are still with us, but the outer 17 is from Moses, so she's gone. So in that, in that group of six boats, just three are left. But anyway, um, needless to say, of course, it was Davy Jones and George Curley's Rosemary is the one that ended up on the stamp over on the right there, and the St. Patrick. And uh, anyway, I was, we sign off with the furthest travel of 17 of all, Del Guinness. What year was it, Nick? Well, all I know is the weather was terrible. <laughs> and they sailed round, sailed round the fastnet. This was, they went round the fastnet before it was profitable or popular for the 70s to do such things. <laughs> and they got, to they got to Dingle eventually and decided that was enough. They saw sense. It was the first time a whole 17 has ever seen sense. <laughs> But they found they couldn't get their low loader down to Dingle or something, so they had to sail back to Castleton Bear to get lifted out and road trailered home. So this is Del Guinness. She's just come through the Dirty Sound. And she's looking lovely. But Emma MacDonald took this picture. And I think that's a very good note to sign off on. But both Herbert Boyd's boats hold in very well. Thank you very much. Thank you.
well done, Wendy. Brilliantly done. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. We're going to let you have your coffee and uh, do whatever you need to do for the well done, Wendy. Thanks. Fantastic. And you know what else? 